redo the whole fucking video again because whatever anyway the, am i am i talking am i thinking about um taking myself out no i'm not i'm just fucking frustrated i'm just fucking i'm tired of living this in this absurd world i'm so tired of it i'm fucking tired i'm tired of having to like be responsible for other people's health care that i can't their car insurance i'm tired of it we have enough people here man we already have enough people I'm, t I'm tired of people like I'm tired of like being able to see things before it fucking happens I mean it doesn't really take a rocket science it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see what's happening to see the decay of America Decay in so many different ways and who the fuck is causing this man. I have some ideas, but I can't even say it. I Have ideas, but I can't even say it. I can't even say it one day. I will but not right now. I Can't even say it what who's responsible for this. I think there's multiple reasons who's responsible for the destruction of America The destruction of the American dream No, I'm I'm just like I'm just frustrated because like in my personal life it just seems like everybody's against me on every sing every everything in my life everything is pointed against me and I'm tired man I'm so tired I'm just tired I'm tired of fighting I just want to be able to either <laughs> either people have my back and start fucking supporting me which I don't have hardly I have like zero fucking support. I, I feel like it's just me. I'm on a fucking island by myself. Trying to fight the whole fucking world, it feels like. It feels like I have all the weight of the shoulders on my... Uh, the weight of the uh, world on my shoulders. That's what it feels like constantly. And I try to help people out, and they don't give a fuck. And it's like... I don't even really care about giving people advice anymore. I just don't care. What's the point? Most people aren't going to fucking take it anyway. So it's just like I'm tired of trying to help. I'm trying. I'm tired of trying to like make the situation better. You know, like when's the situation be? When when is the situation to be good for me? Like I can come into a good situation. I have to fucking fix everything up. That's how I feel. It's like I'm giving all this responsibility with no authority. That's how it feels. And I see, I see people actually with like authority, and they don't do shit. It's it's <laughs> it's a big club, and I ain't I ain't invited. I, you know, I started muting these fucking big leftist accounts on X because I'm just fucking tired of hearing the same bullshit out of them. It's the same shit. Like, there's <laughs> that's probably why Elon's saying I want to promote young, uh, smaller accounts. I'm frustrated, man. So, like, basically, I just troll. I don't I don't want to argue. I don't see a point of arguing with anybody on the left anymore. What's the point? I'm not going to change their mind. It's the same argument over and over. Oh, this and that. Give me some facts. Okay, I'll give you some, like, whatever. It's absurd. We live in absurdity. Kamala, one of her fucking policies is, I want to help the small business. <laughs> What did Democrats do to small business during the lockdowns? They try to put people in jail for keeping their fucking businesses open. But I'm crazy. I'm fucking crazy. What it is, is, is this is what it feels like. Is this is a one big fucking IQ test. <clears throat> the shots were IQ test. <clears throat> How people vote is an IQ test. That's what it feels like. And I, and I feel like I, I'm sitting here passing. I continuously pass tests. And it's just like, here's more tests. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired. You know, I, I, when I made a video yesterday about uh, why men decided to go ahead and 
do the thing they decide to do, get off the treadmill, why? Well, dude, when, I, when you're sitting here in a boat, bailing out water, and but like huge waves keep crashing on, it's like, like the, it, it seems like whatever you're doing doesn't matter. So might as well just fucking say, at some point it's like, I'm just gonna go down with the ship. Because none of this matters. I'm trying to bail out all this water, but I keep getting hit. That's how it feels, man. That's how it feels financially. Like when nothing's gonna go, when nothing's going your way. And mind you, consider, cause, cause I'm ultra conservative pretty much. Not ultra, but I'm pretty conservative with my finances. I mean, you might not think that because I have a, a high a high amount of credit card debt. <sighs> but I have assets to pay. If I don't pay all of it, I pay most of it off. So I'm pretty I'm pretty conservative, and I'm in a better position than probably most most people. <clears throat> probably most people. There's certain things I can't talk about right now that I really want to talk about, and I can't. I'm going to. It's coming out soon, but I can't talk about it right now. Maybe in a few months I'll talk about it. And it really, it, I feel like I need to talk about it, but I, I can't because of my own well-being. What, what it feels like in, in my personal life right now is it feels like I'm completely, completely ostracized by everybody. That's what it feels like. Personal... Uh, business, internet, and, and and some of it's my own doing for sure. Um, it, it amazes me how people don't see the brilliance I have. It amazes me. It amazes me how like people look down on me like I'm fucking retarded. Like I'm just unintelligent and I'm sitting here thinking to myself man I'm fucking way smarter than you maybe you you might be able to memorize things maybe you, you know a, a specific thing when it comes to overall intelligence everything accumulated into one it's like and, and <laughs> I know it sounds smug hey nobody's patting me on the back <laughs> so I gotta pat myself on the back so you know, when I'm when I have self talk and I put myself down continuously, and then I feel like life, you know, puts me down continuously. Like I try to do this, I try to do that, because I'm ahead of the curve. And people still don't have my back. They still don't support me. It's like cool, cool. All right, I guess I am. I, it's either I'm like insane. Which I don't think I am, because if I was insane, I wouldn't be able to sustain life. You know, work, I wouldn't be able to sustain a job. I wouldn't be able to uh, raise my kids. Even though I'm a failure. I, I'm a failure. I'm a failure. That's how I feel. I feel like a failure. And it is what it is. I did, I did the best I could. And, and there's nothing to nothing to brag about, I guess. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, just looking at all the aspects of my life and I'm like, I'm just a failure, dude. And then I'm thinking to myself, how I've worked so hard. I've worked so hard. How the fuck am I a failure? You, know, you can say, you, you can see, say, oh, your music sucks because it's the quality is not good. Do you understand like the point of my music? The point of my music is it's like the point of my music is to like to show that anybody can do it that anybody can create with the technology we have that's the point of it and that's cool nobody has to listen to it that's cool uh but when i listen to my music some of it's horror like a lot of it's trash but there's some of it that's like it's not that bad actually. It's kind of it's kind of like almost up there with like 
stuff I've heard. I'm not saying it's on like the greatest level, but like to, 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 when I think back and I'm like, damn, I did this and this and this. I created two books in this many years. I wrote all these albums all while having a full-time job. Like that's fucking great, man. I, I and I feel su like successful doing that. And then some people are like, oh, you got thirteen thousand su subscribers or followers, and it's like it doesn't even matter though. It doesn't even matter. I might as well have the same same amount as somebody who has like five hundred because I don't get reach. And I, you know, it's, for me, it's like it's do it's like constantly I'm constantly being demoralized trying to trying to be you know positive like i just walk to the gym i don't want to go to the gym. i don't even want to work out dude it's like seriously i don't even want to i don't have it in me i don't i don't, I don't want to do anything like i'm in such deep depression right now it's unbelievable how much depression i'm in it's like seriously not and, and i have to continue to try to move forward knowing that whatever i do doesn't fucking matter at the end of the day anyway that's what it feels like. It, 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 like. it feels like whatever I do doesn't fucking matter. So what's the fucking point? That's why I feel like... And... I don't know. I'm not interested in anything. You know? Just tired. Just tired. No, I'm not interested in dating. I'm not interested in women anymore. I'm not really interested in making music. I'm trying to get myself pumped up to try to create something, but I really don't care. I'm not interested in making art. I'm not interested in... It's just like... You know, I'm, I'm to the point where I, like... Yeah, I'm going to start dressing more punk rock. Why? Because, like, what's the fucking point of me trying to, like... What what it feels like? What is the point for me to sit here and be like these, like these guys on the internet who have or who have millions of dollars trying to tell me, oh I'll do this because they're trying to sell a product, oh I'll do this you know go to the gym with the fixes and I don't fucking feel better doing when I go to the gym I really don't, <laughs> I don't, I still feel depressed, I still feel depressed after I go to work I'm like. Like, seriously, I'm in, like, a deep depression right now. And the, the what gives me hope is, like, when I see, like, Trump is doing good, you know, that's what gives me hope because I want, I want, I want, like, a good future. I want something to work for. But it seems like that's, that's, I feel like I live in communism, dude. You know, you know. Working for, uh, working for the, pe you know, working for your crew, that's one thing. I don't work for my crew, I work for myself now. So, like, when you feel like you're, like, whatever you do doesn't matter because you're gonna have the same outcome regardless, um, that's communism. It's demoralizing, it's dehumanizing. Uh, and that's that's where I'm at like it just feels like whatever I do has the same outcome when I know like there's something telling me like you're gonna pop off man like you're going to pop off but not, not only because like you're creative you're so much different than everybody else that's out there you're just not given the opportunity but there's something telling me dude you're gonna fucking pop off man you're not even gonna have to do this shit. But it doesn't come, the day never comes. You know, it's always like, oh, that that good, prob probably how women feel. Um, oh, the next Prince Charm is coming around the corner. That's probably, that's probably what, that's, that, that's probably what it's equal to. And it's like, oh, men aren't supposed to talk about their feelings. Well, hey, listen. I guess I'm not a man, and I guess I'm a boy. I don't care. I pay all my own bills. Tell, so for for people who don't think I'm a man, go like th th that's what this that's what makes my information so much 
greater than everybody else's because people just tell you what you want to hear. That's what, uh, <laughs> they tell you what you want to hear. And I'm, I'm real, I might be like, you know, negative or complaining, but like, this is reality. <laughs> this is reality. But what, what gets clicks and what gets views is the same thing over and over again. And that's why I say people who are creative are going to go away. And you'll have a renaissance of creativity in the future. But yeah, people who are creative are just going to say, there's no point. There's no point. Because like, if you're a creative person, you don't want to do the same thing over and over and over again. It's repetitive. That's why you see like artists who get big in one thing and then they end up like nobody likes them anymore because they decide to change things around because they they're creative and they don't and people don't like their new creative because they want this they want the same thing over and over <clears throat> so yeah you're gonna see creative people go away. You are, I already see. I feel like I'm one of the last people that are creative, honestly. I really do. And, and I'm not even that creative, honestly. Why am I not that creative? Well, because I have to work a full-time job. That's that's huge reason why. So, yeah, a lot of things are suppressed. But, oh, I can't talk about feelings. I'm not a real man because I talk about feelings. People laugh at me. Laugh at me. I don't care. You should. You should be a man. You should be stoic, dude. I'm stoic like all the time, man. You don't even understand. I'm so stoic. You don't even understand how stoic I am. The stigma, like, oh, like this is this is where I'm at. Yeah, women don't want to hear this because I sound soft. Because I sound weak. That's cool. That's cool. I don't care. I don't care no more. That's why I'm like, I'm going to start dressing like I used to. Because I just don't care. Why, why will that help me in multiple ways? Well, not only will it help me when I look like, because I am poor. So I am, I am really representing myself. <sighs> I'm not being fake. But I'm not going to have a target on my back. I don't think people understand that if you sit out here and try to like, Act like you have money. You're putting a target on your back really fucking soon. People don't understand that. We're just allowing all these illegals over and eventually we're going to have to cut the welfare off. And what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Oh, I'm crazy for thinking this. No, we're just they're just going to continuously be on welfare. We're going to continuously expand the government. There's nothing's going to break. Nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> crime's gonna happen more and more people are gonna get desperate especially if we get Kamala in there that's why I'm like that's why I'm so hardcore on Trump man people oh you're in a cult dude I'm not in a cult man are you kidding me I see what the left is I see what Trump is He's fighting a whole system. It's not just Kamala. It's a system, dude. I bet you after the debate tonight. After the, the debate. They might even. She might even drop out. <laughs> that's, that's what's funny. She might even drop out. And then you might see. What Waltz. As. The nominee. She might get, she might get destroyed so hard tonight. Like her ratings, I don't know. People, I, I people on the left are like saying she's whooping Trump, but I'm, <laughs> from what I see on the on the ground, and I see like other statistics, other polls, whatever. She's not. She's losing a lot of support. She's losing a lot of support, man. And I'm not, and, and people shouldn't get complacent. Everybody should vote. Everybody should vote. But I used to be a Democrat. I see how corrupt they are. 
I see what they've evolved into. I see that they've turned into some type of communist, fascist type of ideology that doesn't make sense. And it's not sustainable. It's not. I don't, I hope things don't turn violent, but they keep pushing it and people will act out in violence, man. Like, yeah, hey, elites, quit fucking pushing, man. Back the fuck off. Because you're going to get taken out by people. People are just going to, they're going to, what's going to happen is you're going to have regular people that just reach fuck it. You know, like how I feel right now. Nothing fucking matters what I do. I'm a logical, rational person and I'm a non-violent person, so I'm not going to partake in anything. But that doesn't go for everybody. <laughs> it doesn't go for everybody. It doesn't go for everybody at all. I have really good self-control over myself. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't and they are going to act out emotionally and they will target rich people. They will target politicians. And I'm not saying people should, but I'm saying that's what's going to happen. This is what I see happening. Because these rich people, these celebrities, these politicians who sit here on their high horse. Talking down to you. While you're distraught, like the common person is just trying to get by, but the, it, every, it just seems like it's impossible. It doesn't feel like there's a future. And then they tell you, you're wrong. They're gonna snap. People are gonna, it's, in, it's inevitable. Uh, I can't talk. It's inevitable. Still probably can't say the word right, whatever. Anyway. People are going to snap. And they're gonna act out. And I don't fucking care, man. I just like, I'm just tired. I think everyone else is just tired. They're tired of this shit. They're tired of being pushed around. The, the government feels like a fucking bully, man. That's what it feels like. Like I said, people are fucking tired. They're extremely tired of this shit. I'm tired. I'm so, and that's why you're hearing like me being depressed, which I shouldn't be. I should be pretty, pretty excited about, I am excited politically, but I'm also just tired of like the divisiveness of, uh, I, I can't talk about this subject because I uh, might get fired. I will, I will be talking about it in the future. I don't care. Like I'm, I'm to the point, like, I don't care if like. Kamala gets in charge and the communists take over. I'm still going to speak and I'll probably speak louder. Because I don't care if they put me against the wall. I just don't care. I don't care if they send me to some like concentration camp at this point. I don't care. Like seriously. I don't fucking care. I'm tired. And I'm not going to shut up. And my voice will get louder. And somebody will probably attack me. Somebody will probably murder me. That's what I think is going to happen. I think that since me talking so much, I think that I'm going to be taken out. That's what I think. I don't know by who, but with the stuff I talk about, with the stuff I'm going to talk about in the future, somebody's going to take me out. That's, that's probably why I feel like it really doesn't matter what I do because I'm, I'm I don't think I li I don't think that I'm gonna be here much longer. That's how I feel. I don't feel like I'm gonna be here much longer. Maybe that's why I feel like a ghost. And it's not because of anything I'm gonna do to myself. I'm not gonna hurt myself at all. Trust me. <laughs> I don't. I, I stopped smoking weed, so I'm completely clean and sober. I'm basically a straight edge at this point. You know, I don't eat the greatest, but I plan on trying to get better with my eating. But 
I honestly feel that I'm going to be murdered. I don't, you know, and I have my suspicions. I have my suspicions, but I can't say it right now. And I don't think it's like the cabal gonna take me. I'm not really that prominent. I'm never gonna be that prominent. I just think it's gonna be local. <clears throat> that's what I think. It's gonna be local. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. And like I said, I have my suspicions who's gonna murder me. But I mean not 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 like personally, like I know who they are, their name and stuff like that. I'm just saying like the type of the type of person. It's not really hard to find me. It's not really hard to find anybody. I mean, I put myself all on the internet. So, you know, that's kind of the reason why I said on my on my little Facebook, I said, hey, listen, <laughs> this thing might be might get a lot of attention. So, unfriend me if you don't want it. You might there might be a lot of people visiting this thing because of just me saying things. Just me, just me talking shit, or whatever. Talking shit gets people killed, and like I said, I have to like refrain from the shit that I, I, I want to say because uh, man, I'm trying to I'm <laughs> I'm trying to continue to I'm I'm trying to have hope that things will change for the better, and the the change for the better is Trump. So, like, I'm hoping that, you know, he gets in there, reverses a lot of this bullshit that we've been going through. But, yeah, I'm, I'm tired, man. I, that's what it is. I'm just, I'm just exhausted. I'm exhausted with fighting. I want to enjoy life. I want to live in a civilized society. I don't want violence anywhere. I don't want anybody hurt. I want people to be able to have opportunities um yeah I mean it is what it is and <laughs> but yeah I will I will be saying like the shit that I want to talk and, and like I, the video I just made that you know I decided to, I'm not going to upload. A couple of them yesterday, I was just, I'm like, one of them was like, I don't know if I should upload a little car ride. I think maybe I shouldn't upload that, but I have to kind of be cautious about some of the stuff I talk about. And I don't want to be cautious. I don't want to be cautious about what I say anymore. Um, and this video is almost three, 30 minutes. Mm. Yeah, I, I just walked to the gym and I just I just don't feel it, man. I don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. Uh, just depressed. <clears throat> not inspired. I'm not really inspired to make music. I really don't care. And it just feels like everything's against me, man. I'm just tired. I'm tired of that feeling of everything just being against me all the time. That's what it feels like. Everything is continuously against me, nonstop. And I'm just tired. That's why it sounds like <clears throat> always. Are we gonna end up, you know, getting off the treadmill himself, and that's it? This is probably why people think that if they listen to any of my my recent videos. It, man, it's because I'm tired, dude. I'm tired of trying to, like, <clears throat> be a good for the world and the world's shit. A part of me just wants to, like... A part of me just wants to, like, leave, say goodbye to everybody and just start a new life somewhere else and be like, see you guys. Because what, what, what should be happening in America right now is family should be getting together family should be getting together they should be uh, buying property and creating a community 
whether um, whether that community is oh, I'll be quiet for a second. I don't want to cut this video off. Cut these videos off, but whatever. I don't feel like cutting it off. But like, yeah, people should be creating communities with their family. But what we have is. What we have is uh, what we have is um, people that still want to be completely independent and away from their families and live by strangers. Which, uh, like, I think the best thing for people to do is, like, for me, if I had the resources, I would buy a small piece of land with a cabin on it in case we had social breakdown, in case we had extended power outage, um, or just to go ahead and, you know, somewhere I want to escape to, just for, like, relaxation. We should have that. Like, I don't see any point to own, try to own a house in, by civilization, by big cities. Maybe in a small town, that's cool, but I just don't see a point. It's too expensive. It's too chaotic. All these people are just flooding in our country illegally. And ownership is either off grid or in a small town. That's like the best place to own something. And it, it just it's just crazy to me how families don't see this. That they need to they need to like get together instead of moving away from each other get together buy a property and build houses on it but they don't they still aren't <laughs> they're still living in this like crazy utopia that everything is okay and everything's you know it might be okay it might be okay but if you look at the rest of the world and you see the censorship across the world it's like it almost seems like America is like the last place for uh, free speech at this point. It it seems like we're the last stop. It, we're the last domino to fall, if we fall. If Kamala gets in there, we will fall. There's no doubt about that. If Trump gets in there, we'll be strong again. But and, and the funny thing is too, when people say, "Oh, you're in a cult." You're in a cult. I'm in a cult, huh? I think for myself. I see that, you know, Trump supports a lot of things that I support, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's marijuana being legal, people people coming here legally. I love immigrants coming here legally. How 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 disrespectful is it that Democrats are just allowing people to be on voter registrations and, and they refuse to take illegals off, like in Arizona. How disrespectful it is it here in Detroit? No, not Detroit. I live in Metro Detroit, so like people say, oh, you live in a, I live in Metro Detroit, bitch. <laughs> um, how disrespectful is it that RFK said take my name off the ballot and then 
and and you had judges saying here take him off the ballot now they just reversed it for why why they fought to keep him off the ballot initially and now that because they want to cheat these people will not stop cheating and this is technically not cheating but it's like why are you allowing illegals to stay on the ballot you took Biden off the ballot. Well, if why aren't you taking RFK off the ballot? Because you want people to vote for RFK over Trump, and that's what it is. That's what exactly what it is. They're corrupt. They talk about democracy, this and that, but when you have a candidate that dropped out and said, take my name off the ballot, and they don't, and they actually, they're actually fighting to keep them on the ballot, <laughs> it's, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy the the, the degeneracy, the, the 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 corruption. Like like seriously, do you think that small business, like you're saying, you're for small businesses, you, <laughs> you're for small businesses, and you, you people on the left try to arrest these people for staying open in 2021, 2020, whatever. But you're not now. You're for small business. Oh, you're for the little guy. Kamala's for the little guy. She's for like people like me. Well, from what I've seen the last almost four years, it it shows different. Oh, she wasn't in charge. Well, yeah, Biden's. I heard just basically had a whole year off on vacation. Like who? And who's in charge right now? He has never been in charge. He hasn't been in charge of anything. And I don't know if she has been either, but it's a system. It doesn't matter the person, it's the system. You boomers, man. Like, seriously, you boomers voting for Kamala. Pissing off the youth, man. These, the, this, the youth. I don't think people understand. They don't give a fuck. I don't think that people understand how much they don't fucking care. When you don't give them any type of reason or future, you know how I'm feeling. What I'm talking about. You think that they're not going through the exact same thing that I'm going through, and in fact, they're going through worse because they've actually never had. A lot of these these young men have not never even had relationships with women. They've never had kids. They never had a family experience. And they look ahead and they're like, I'm never going to be able to own a house. I'm never going to be able to have a wife, a kid, or kids. So what the fuck do I care? So how I'm feeling, what I'm conveying out to everybody, small amount of people, Is I'm just letting the cat out of the bag. I'm just letting people know what what uh, what people are thinking, what people are feeling. And you can say I'm not a man. I'm a complainer. I'm kind of simulating their life, and their life fucking sucks. Their life fucking sucks, and they know their life sucks. And. I'm a rational man, but they won't be. They will not be. And, they, and, and on top it off, here's the cherry on top. Here's the cherry on top, what people don't understand about the youth out here. They have no empathy. They've been raised with no empathy. Why don't they have empathy? Parents fucking... Gave them stuff instead of their time. They didn't give a shit about their emotional health. All they give a shit about is their material. They look at their kids like they are property. Like they are a car. They're a status symbol to them. Not a human. And why do you think that they don't feel human?
why do you think that um serial serial killers were made yeah you can say you can definitely say like they had traumatic things that happened to them as a kid same with these mass shooters you can say that you can say you know the serial killers before all the the big drugs came in the antidepressants or whatever Why do they lack empathy? Because that's how they were raised. That's how their parents raised them. They they don't look at other people as humans. They don't... What are they... What, what is the correct term? Sociopath? Psychopath? They don't look at these, these people as people. They look at them as things. Just like how their parents probably viewed them. I'm telling you, man, these, a lot of these young people just don't give a fuck. And you know what's crazy, too? What we're doing here in America, causing conflicts, using as other countries as our slaves, they're tired of our shit. They're tired of our shit. They really are. I tried to explain this before. It's like, I'm a famous person. I designed and created three blankets. They have value because I'm a famous person and I created them. And I sell them as, there's only going to be three created. And as soon as I sell them for top dollar, I decide to make more. But not only do I make more, as I don't actually make them. I have other people make them in mass so everybody can have them. So that completely devalues. Well, it could make the make it go up too. Well, it, it can go both ways. If I decided to make more myself, when I said that there was only going to be three, that's what we're doing with our dollar. When countries, you know, buy bonds or whatever. And then our, our our country decides to just keep spending more money. Keep inflating our debt. That devalues their bond. So, like, they, they that devalues their investment. That creates hostility. That creates people getting mad and that's why I say other countries are our slave for right now for right now it's because of irresponsible people in charge and, and whose fault is that it's our fault because we voted for them and we continue to vote for these people They don't solve problems. What, sol what problems do they solve? What are they getting paid for? If they solved all the problems, then there, there won't be no need for them. So they don't want the problems solved. They might want it like, they might want to take the edge off a little bit, but they don't want the problem solved completely. That's what it seems like to me anyway. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just a common person. I don't know anything. You know, I'm crazy. I belong in the loony bin. Maybe. You know, I think that would be pretty cool, though. I, I wouldn't mind living in a sane asylum. I, I would ra Honestly, I, I'd rather be living in a sane asylum than my life right now. Because in a sane asylum, at least I don't have to work a rat race. At least I don't have responsibility. And if I lived in a sane asylum and I I could be medicated, like smoke weed, that'd be cool if I could like smoke weed and I can just like create. And maybe I can talk to other people who are just as crazy as me. I like smoking weed. It calms me down. 
I don't know if anybody noticed, but I don't, I don't really, um, I'm not really active on X when I, when I was smoking weed, I was less active. I didn't make as much videos because I was more chilled. Now I'm a little bit more pissed off and aggressive. But it doesn't matter. That's why I that's what that's why I'm like it doesn't matter because like my voice isn't going to be my voice isn't taken seriously anyway. So like what does it matter if I create music, if I write books, if I make videos? It's not, it's like none of it's even if even if like hypothetically it was you know the masses all of a sudden see my stuff most people aren't gonna like me anyway that, even even like people who are MAGA people like they block me on on X why because I'm not in a cult because I don't go along with everything I'm not even Christian so it's like I try it's like when Owen Schroer says I try to call balls and strikes you know you see like okay you see you see you see both sides point of view and you say well this is what happened well sometimes the people right here they're not always going to have the same opinion as me. And that's good. I think that's good. I think that it's good when people have opposing opinions as me. So we're not in an echo chamber. You know? It's a, dude, I'm right a lot. I'm right, but I'm also wrong. And then I'm like, oh man, okay. I guess I was ignorant in that. I thought it was a certain way, but it wasn't. Thank you for letting me know. I don't, like that doesn't seem right. This guy sounds like what? I know this is right. I know that we don't drill no more. I look it up. Oh wait, he was right. They secretly started drilling for oil again by a lot. The Biden administration. When when they acted like Yeah, you know, that's that's what's crazy is because it's like there's so much information out here. You know what? Here's another thing. Humans aren't supposed to talk to a bunch of different humans, I don't think. I don't think we're supposed to interact with a bunch of different humans. I think that's... I think the average human... Shouldn't be around with a bunch of different people that they don't know. That's what I think. I think there's people that can handle that, but I think a lot of people can't. It's better to be around people who are, you're familiar with and you feel more comfortable. You're like, who is this? Okay, like we have a relationship. But in this in this in this world, almost everybody feels like a stranger to me. When everyone feels like a stranger to you, it's like, who do you trust? You can't trust anybody. That's not a good world for most humans to be in. You know, like I, I had this, uh, I had this friend. We talked a lot. We talked a lot. Talked to her every day. It was through messaging. We talked about our problems, other things. And I told her, sound like she, like she found a good man. I said, best thing you can do is like get rid of your social media. And she she had more subs, more subs on her channel than I do by six times, six times more. And I told her. If you want to have a good relationship with this man, you don't want to have a huge social media. And in fact, and in fact, 
I, I did help her. I did help her land this guy too by giving her wisdom. And she, and as far as I know, she followed it. As far as I know, they're doing good together. I told her we can't talk like this anymore. We can't. Um, nothing, nothing against you, but it's out of respect for your, your new man. Because if I was him, I wouldn't want you talking to me. And that's that's what people have to understand is if you want to have a family, you you don't want a huge following on social media. And that's what I initially tried to do with my uh, my Facebook. I thought when I moved away from here, I'm like, I don't I'm probably never going to see these people again. I'm never going to come back here. And I thought to myself, I'm just going to make my Facebook just my family. Just small. And, and, I, and I really just stopped really using it. Except for the messenger. I like the messenger. The messenger's on point. But when it comes to like posting things or like flicking through my news feed, I really don't. I don't. A big reason is because I can't say what I want to say on there. And then it's cool when my kids are little and, you know, sharing pictures and stuff like that. But, you know, they ended up getting older and they didn't really want pictures taken of them anymore. So it's kind of like, it's kind of fucking pointless for me to be on here. So... That's, that's part of the reason why I, like, mm. social media, for most people, like, they just want to put out the best. They don't, they don't want to put out reality. They just want to, oh, this is great. Look at this vacation, this and that. Everything's going great. Yay. Everything's positive all the time. There's no negativity. Like, that's not real life. Uh, maybe I'm the only one that deals with it. Maybe nobody else deals with any type of struggle in their life. But I just I just think that I'm pretty transparent. I try to be transparent. In real life, especially when I get around groups of people that I don't know. I, if I don't know you, dude, I'm not going out of my way to talk to you. Sorry. You have to come talk to me. And especially if you're a woman. <laughs> like, this is how it feels for me. Like, I'm not going to chase women anymore. I'm done. It's not worth it. Especially American women. It's just not worth chasing them anymore. There's so many guys chasing them. It just seems like... If they actually seen something in me, then they can make the effort. And it's not hard to make an effort. It really isn't. <laughs> Don't even have to like come and talk to me. Like, It's pretty easy for women to show interest. It's just like orbiting. Hanging around, looking at you. I mean, that's not really that difficult for a woman to show interest. But for me personally... Women aren't interested in me anymore, so it is what it is. I don't think that women ever really were. The only time I did really well dating was via the internet. I don't know, it was something about knowing that they're single. Because it's like, I just assume, and for the most part I'm pretty right, that most people in real life, they already have somebody anyway. So it just seems like a waste of my time. And it almost seems it almost seems cringe to approach women now anyway. It seems cringe to like message them first through DM. And it seems cringe to just approach them, trying to be like all suave, like uh. it's almost like they're like, Oh my god, this is so stupid. They have like all these guys on their social media. There's so many in their inbox. It's pointless.
it feels pointless. That's why I'm like, if a woman really, really wants to get to know me and sees my value, she, like she doesn't have to come up and say anything, doesn't? But she can make subtle things showing that she's interested, and they don't. I mean, I can, I can, yeah, I can date women that are single moms. Don't see a point of that. I don't want to do that. Women that are like ones, I can do that. That's easy. I see, they're swiping all my stuff all the time. I don't swipe on anybody anymore. On I do the Facebook dating. It's more of like a social experiment. It's not even like I don't I don't take it serious. Oh, why are you even on there? Like, yeah, most of the women on there don't take it serious either. They're on there saying, try, just trying to get validation. So like, for anyone to say, oh, why are you on there? It's like. <laughs> You know, I I, uh, I I was saying something like a good way to I used to I used to like talk to a lot of women to try to show to other women I was interested in that you know women like that women when 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 one when a woman sees a man with other women they they feel like what well, well, there's something about him, especially if they're good looking women. So I tried to have a lot of female friends, like in the workplace or whatever, maybe even in the gym. Because it, 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 it shows like a social, a social presence. And I, oh, that's manipulation because like you're trying to you're, you're, you're basically friends with these people because, like, you're trying for your own personal gain. It's manipulating. Sure. I mean, so is makeup. <laughs> Isn't makeup manipulation? Oh, that's okay, though. That's different. Okay. Everybody's trying to manipulate to benefit them. That's, that's everybody. They want to maximize a situation that benefits them. Like, who doesn't? Um, I guess if you use it for malice reasons, yeah, sure. But yeah, networking is really it can it could be really useful. It could be really useful to have a lot of female friends. It really can be. As long as you don't, as long as you like, you go into like the, you know, talking to the person that like, you don't have a secret crush on them. And you, you're not emotionally like, think that anything is going to happen besides just a friendship. So. <sighs> These fucking red pill guys piss me off. That's why I distanced myself, my distance myself for a moment. I just like get tired of it. Go to the gym, do this and this. Like, dude. You're just trying to sell a book, man. You're just trying to get views. You're just trying to get clicks. It's old. It's almost like these women posting um, pic um, videos of themselves at the gym. Like, why are they still doing that? I'm so annoyed with women on the internet I'm so annoyed with guys who like guys post oh what do you see here and it just shows like a girl walking with her with her boobs jiggling like what do you see here do you see like do you see the post in the back it's like like have you never seen a woman before like ha are you do you not see like the flood of women just like posting their bodies and revealing uh, tight fitting clothes showing their fit. Do you not, is it, is our, is the internet not oversaturated? I'm seeing like post people treating X like Instagram or like whatever. 
Oh, I'm voting for Trump. You're on my side. And then the woman posts a selfie. Like, why are you posting a selfie? Like, for what? For what? And I'm just, like, annoyed. I'm as annoyed. And how I say it, like, how women are annoyed with men when it comes to uh, getting messages. That's how I feel about women on the internet. Like, constantly. And and I love the I love the female body. I love the female image. Like I said in a video, like one of the greatest things is like when a woman smiles and you see the smile in her eyes. It's one of the greatest works of art. It is the greatest work of art. The creator did. Creators it is the woman. The physical part but and I'm and I and I love women trust me I love women you know what's crazy is I'm almost like not attracted to like seeing tens anymore I'm not even like attracted like when I see them when I see Tate with these girls that look like flawless I'm almost like she doesn't even look like a real person. I almost I almost am just attracted to women that are average looking. I don't even like tens anymore. Not only because like I know like I can't sustain that long term or even like have a chance at that. That's like winning the like like having a oh would it's like winning the lotto, like a chance to attract somebody like that, even if it's just for one night. And I'm well past that lifestyle. But I'm more attracted to just regular looking women at this point. And whether guys will admit it or not, but I think that a lot of guys are starting to think like how I am. Well, they won't admit that. Oh, I don't like this. Man. Crazy. I do want to say stuff, but I can't. I'm still, I have to limit myself to what I say. But, yeah, I, I like, like, regular, average-looking women. Just don't be fat. That's, I mean, that's the big thing. Just don't be overweight. <laughs> But yeah, I, I like it. not a lot of makeup, just plain Jane. Because you, all you see is on the internet is women that are like, oh, this and that, unrealistic. But yeah, I think this video is long enough.